everyone today we are going to talk about a very important series about system design this video series is going to work as a foundation stone for many questions around system design this is going to be uh, whatever topics that we are going to understand we are first going to understand the requirement and problem statement and then we will map the technical concept and the tools with that one so that it's very easy to recall that whenever we are facing that problem statement in interviews or not even in interviews but in day to day coding day to do programming at companies and at personal projects also so this will organically build those concepts and tooling out there that is available to solve different kind of problems so with that in mind so this series that i have named it scaling from zero to billions of request that will be containing multiple videos small videos that will be easy to jump in at like different components different topics as per convenience okay and the source of this information whatever i am going to share it many technical articles that are available out there uh, over internet and my own personal experience uh, with 11 or 12 plus years of experience in the industry with that in mind let me start this very first video where we are going to talk about the requirement of requirement what is the requirement that we are going to take care because that is the first thing that that we should discuss before discussing uh, any solutioning or anything so let's jump to that so this if you see this is the github page where i have mentioned all the details and i'll be mentioning more details around it i'll share this in the description box itself where you can go ahead and check this out at any any point in time so first we are going to talk about the business requirements here hypothetical real estate company we are going to take that and as example so what is the first requirement that it talks about like this is a very big company and it's a, it's it's going to have a very rapid user growth so build something from scratch and build in such a way that it's able to handle rapid user growth in the system it should not fail when there is an increase number of users visited on the system the second topic handle high traffic loads it's again complementary to the first topic that first point that is a support rapid user growth that means creation of the users and high handle high traffic loads also means creating the data into the system as well as reading the data from the system should be uh, handled properly fast response time and low latency that means when usually what happens we have limited resources on the system so when we have increase traffic Uh, in terms of reading in terms of creating to accommodate that increase load what happens that response time gets reduced so here the requirement is that that should not be compromised the response time should be at least at possible as possible independent of uh, the number of requests that we are getting in the fourth point talks about the data consistency and reliability so this portal this real estate company that is there this is uh very popular company and it is spread throughout the world and user base is going to be across the world so whatever data is created from one part of the world let's say us another user if is trying to access from india should be accessible properly data consistency should be there and there should not be any data loss so that reliability should be there if i have created some data i got the success response that yeah data is created successfully so if i try to access that data from anywhere in the world i should be able to get that data one another example is like if you are tweeting something on the twitter you you are posting anything on linkedin so the moment you posted it it is available throughout the world anywhere in the world anyone can access that one the something similar data consistency reliability should be in here independent service deployment and scaling is the next point so this talks about when we have this huge system in place so and there are many functionalities out there in the system so if something is wrong because we are building the system so errors and failures are 
something that we cannot avoid 100% they will happen obviously but the thing is that how gracefully how quickly we are handling that one is the key here so if one component is failing another component should not be impacted by this one so let's say user creation flow is impacted so user reading flow should not be impacted if user reading is impacted creation should not not be impacted this is for the example so and when user base is increasing and we have limited resources that is not able to cope up with the request so it should be able to scale properly so that it is able to cater the increased demand on the number of requests when we have such a system in place these things it is able to handle these kind of loads and doing a lot of things how we get to know that what is happening with my system how many requests it is handling if any everything going wrong there or not how i get to know is it like when user is reporting the issue i get to know no that's not the case i should be having a comprehensive monitoring and logging in place in our system so before user created that request uh, that something is wrong i should be able to know i should be alerted that something is wrong in the system and go and fix it so that healing mechanism that troubleshooting mechanism also up to some extent should be automatic or it should be if human intervention is needed so they should be informed as soon as possible monitoring and logging is there another point is a secure handling of user data and privacy also this is very important nowadays like privacy uh, whenever it comes into picture it it becomes a news like how uh, how the companies are handling the data and how their data is getting uh, stolen from the unwanted actors that are out there so how we make sure that these things are not happening first thing that we are the whatever request response interaction is happening between user and the server that should be secure whatever is happening like whatever data is being transmitted over the over the network that should be secured another thing is like whenever that data is stored into the system that should be stored in such a way that somehow that database gets compromised gets lost those unwanted actors and hackers should not be able to read that data we should have such a mechanism in our databases also so security at each and every layer should be there we have web servers we have databases we have data in flow we have data at rest all those places we have we must have that security in place and how we can handle that so these are the requirements high level i think uh, this covers all the high level requirement of every system that is available out there if you talk about facebook whatsapp Uh, e-commerce websites net banking online banking internet banking any portal that on a high level it covers that obviously there will be uh, things specific to that domain but on a high level whatever engineering requirement is there that is going to be covered in here so let's jump to the details like how we solve it one by one because uh, how we build up, build on this one so we have one mind map around this one so scaling from zero to billions of requests just create just just take a copy of this in your mind first is like business requirements that we just covered second is like initial single server setup so we are whatever we have got the requirement right so we are not like going to give the timeline like it will this project will take one year of time and this going to be built that is not the case nowadays it's like take a small request take divide it into small deliverables build that deliver that get the feedback also incrementally keep building other things in place but also uh, incorporate the feedbacks that you got so that is what the agile methodology that is uh, that is out there with every company nowadays so there are like work divided deliverables divided in in small components in a small time frame that is what going to be delivered we are getting the feedback and incorporating that and building on that frequently that's what we are doing here every video you can say is going to play a role of that sprint like initial single server setup then we are going to talk about how we scale the server we have server then how we scale the databases then it talk it comes the performance and latency part the next caching cdn message queues are going to cover the art one security is there data centers are there when there is a uh, like one 
failure is there like one data center is going down one geography has gone down so how we can handle this one monitoring and logging is going to be their conclusion and next step where we go from here so couple of videos like five six videos are going to come in this series but when you have got the proper understanding of this one let me assure you you are not going to face any problem that you are not going to handle it if you have got it properly during this session during this video and any point of time you have any question put that in the comment section i'll incorporate that in the subsequent videos i hope you found this useful and you were excited about this series one i am very excited to present this one so stay tuned to the channel subscribe to the channel if you like this content share it with your friends so that also they also get to know this one and this supports me as well so i'll see you in the next one with the next topic that is initial single server setup so till then take care bye bye